CCBYND. Yo, Creative Commons, got to give credit, no derivatives, okay? This basically means no sampling, no remixing, no tweaking, no building upon. You can only distribute the work and you can do it commercially. So you could um, download someone's album licensed under this, not change it at all and sell it on a CD or on a record or, or whatever you want. Okay, and you can do it for com you know, commercial purposes, okay? But it means no derivatives, it means no remixing, unless those remixes are fair use, okay? So you can, you can share the work, but it has to remain whole and unchanged. It's that moral right of alteration. They, they don't want their meaning of their work changed or put into a new, a new context. It's basically a distribution license, it allows you to distribute the, the work. And it's not uh, a free cultural license, so CC, BY is a free culture license. CC BYSA is also free culture, but when you start introducing ND, which means no derivatives, no changing, or NC, non-commercial uses, you start to have not free, uh, not free culture licenses. All right, that brings us up to CC BY NC. I get. I hope you know what NC means. Um, you know, in in this instance, it means non-commercial. Okay, so it means nonprofit uses. So you can tweak it, you can change it, you can remix it, you can distribute it, you can show it, what, what, whatever you want to do, it just cannot be for commercial purposes, okay? Now this brings up like the, the question is what is a commercial purpose? Using someone's song licensed under CCBYNC um, for an ad campaign that's a commercial purpose. They're not making money directly off of the advertisement itself. They're not selling that, but indirectly. If you make a video that uses someone's music and you monetize the video with Google Ads, that may be in violation of, of this license. So you have to really think about that. And again, my argument for allowing for commercial uses is it's about credit, it's about props, it's about building your network because your network is your net worth. Oh, shit. I feel like that's some like, stupid like motivational speaker business douche thing to say but it is so damn true you know and you know um yeah you're letting someone profit off of your creativity but like that may be really good for you that may lead to economic and financial opportunities to you down the line especially again what i'm saying is when you're a budding artist like getting getting your you know props up is like it's huge. All right, let's get into this. CCBYSA, NCSA, okay? So again, BY, you must give credit. NC, you cannot use commercially, and you must share under the same type of license, okay? So basically, you know, you, you can still remix, you can sample, you can tweak, you can adapt, okay? But you cannot do it commercially and your resulting tweaks, your resulting sampled music or movie or whatever must be shared under the same type of Creative Commons license. That's very important. So you get this, right? It's like really easy. So whatever's in the, you know, the license type CCBY and then whatever it is, you just have to know what NC, ND, and SA mean. It's pretty simple. All right, here's the most restrictive, most hateristic, uh, Creative Commons license, it's totally not a free culture license, but I guess it's freer than an all rights reserved copyright license, okay? CCBYNCND. You know what this means. No, you got to give credit, you got to give props, but no commercial uses and you cannot tweak it. It basically uh, allows you to download something and share it with credit, of course, okay? This is also not a free culture license. So the... Pr pr so the... Pr pr <laughs> So the, <laughs> so the proprietary clauses in Creative Commons licenses are the NC and the ND clauses. There's a movement um, with like free culture people to kind of abolish these. Like let's like, oh, let's, hey man, let's make uh, Creative Commons total free culture, man. I mean, there's a, you know, and I can see, I can see that, um, but I also think like maybe it's important to give people those options because maybe they don't want their work changed. Like maybe they want to partake in free culture to an extent, but they don't want to go all, you know, all in, you know, um, they want to retain some of their rights, you know, okay. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, it is what it is, you know, like these NC and ND don't necessarily create a free culture. They create a free-ish culture, a freer culture, but it's not a free culture, man. Um, so, I mean, I don't know, you know, it is kind of is what it is, but those are the two very proprietary clauses in Creative Commons licenses. There's a couple other types of licenses. Um, one's called a CC0, okay? This is no rights reserved. This basically means that something has been created that typically would um, be copyrighted. Um, and uh, instead of uh, having any type of Creative Commons you know, license that we discussed attached to it, or you know, an all rights reserved copyright license, the author has opted to make it public domain. So you create a song and you're like, fuck it, I wanna just give it away. I want to give it away, give it away, give it away now. You know, I don't want my name attached to it. I just want someone to, people to use it and love it and enjoy it, man. You know, and uh, that's what you do. And you basically, you know, you're like, shit, I'm, I'm going to make this public domain. You know, and that's what you do. Which means no credit, people just use it, whatever. You just give it gone okay that's cc zero so creative commons no rights nothing nothing no stipulations go for it go ham bam okay the other is what's called a pdm mark okay and the pdm mark is a little bit different what this means is there's billions uh, that may be an overstatement no I, you know i think that's not an overstatement there's bajillions of works out there that are in the public domain, uh, but people don't know that for sure. So there may be like a box of photographs that you find in your Nana's cl uh, closet or, or attic or whatever. Those works may be under copyright or they may be in the public domain. No one really knows. There's tons of movies and films and think of all of the things, you know, drawings and stuff that have been created, that are out there, <clears throat> that technically have copyright protection, but may not because they're too old, because they were never registered, or wh whatever it is. Um, but let's say you find uh, a box of photographs in Nana's cl closet or basement, and they're uh, pictures of, you know, I don't know, President Eisenhower. <laughs> I'm really just bringing it back. Um, and, you know, they're maybe historically significant. And they're really old, and they're before 1925, and they're in the public domain, okay? And you want to put these photographs out there. You didn't create them. You're not the author, okay? You put them out there with a PD or PDA, PDM mark on it, basically meaning... This is not my work, but it's in the public domain. And I'm going to let you know, I'm going to let y'all know that this is public domain. Like, you can use this. So the difference between CC0 and PDM, CC0 is something you create and you give it. PDM is something that you find that is in the public domain and you denote that it's in the public domain so that other people know that it's a public domain work. 